We used a lot of different lenses, we used a lot of different uh, gear. First off, let's start with the core, the heart, the beauty of our little setup. So we went with the FX3 from Sony, perfect for run and gun shooting, like I have it set up here. So very quickly, very fast, I can be very agile, I can go into tight spaces. But we also rigged it up on a big cinema rig. What we need in front of it are, is some high quality glass. So of course we went with Zeiss, the best in the game. I've worked with different cinema gear before, different cinema lenses, but these really stood out to me. First of all, they're not as heavy as others, they're pretty light, and the size on all the focal length is exactly the same. So whenever you take it off the rig, you put a different focal length on it, you do not need to change the follow focus motor, the setup, nothing. They also weigh the same, which is great for gimbal use. This matte box is really great because it has two, not one, filter holders. So we could use a ProMist filter and an ND filter for our setup right here. The Tilta Nucleus M is great because it gives you nice haptics to turn. And with this dual kit, you have two motors, one for focus and one for zoom. So depending on your use case, you're covered. But of course, we need to view all of this good footage we capture. So we rented this monitor. This is the Atomos Ninja 5. But it's not only a monitor, on the back you can plug in an SSD so you can even record high quality raw footage. We only use it as a monitor for which it works great because of the touch screen, so it is much handier. Let's talk some pros and cons. First of all, the camera. So I think one of the biggest pros and maybe also a slight con is definitely the size. As you can see, it is very compact. It allows for very flexible rigging and also very flexible shooting. But again, it is also a little bit of a downside since the grip is not as nice and the screen is pretty small for a professional camera. What you see in the screen is the Sony menu, which personally is a bit of a downside for me since I'm not very familiar with it and it is not very intuitive to use. On top of the camera, we can see the handle that comes with it, which is great because there's a connection in here. So you have professional XLR inputs with phantom power to rig all your microphones and it gives you a nice place to hold the camera. Okay, so to conclude, I was very happy with the service Budget Cam provided us with. All the gear was in good condition and all the parts come with the kits like you can see here. We got all the cables, we got all the batteries, so it's all out of the box, it is ready to use. They also open quite early, even on the weekend, so you can pick up those missing pieces you forgot to rent, like we had to do. Thank you very much again to Budget Camp for helping us with our movie project by providing us this gear.